The eyes of the region were on PNG last Friday as PNG's foreign minister, Soroy Eoi, met with his Chinese counterpart, Wan Yi, at the Hilton Hotel. While the East continues its growing influence on the Minnow Pacific Island countries, geopolitics is at play as Australia and the West are keeping a close tab on China's move. The media in PNG was also allowed to cover the visit, including Chinese media, and a question asked by ABC's correspondent to PNG, directed to Wan Yi, sparked a response from Minister Oi. Mr Wang, you have spoken about the regional-wide uh, agreement. Uh, that obviously didn't get the signatures in Fiji. Do you feel your tour has been a success and has it been about uh, showcasing China's intent to step up in the region? Following the reply by Wan Yi, the country's Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade Investment made the following comments. I think one issue need to be put at the forefront is the issue of countries in the Pacific like PNG continuously being used as a raw material producing, exporting country. I think the same message right across the Pacific Island countries. We cannot be, continue to be used as a raw material country where we have to export all our raw material out to foreign countries. There was a terrible problem with the laws in this country which were designed to make us dependent all our lives. We will change that laws thanks to this government. Straight after gaining independence in 1975, the government then strengthened ties between both countries by reaching out to communist China when the rest of the world turned a blind eye. PNG government still maintains the One China policy. We like all our friends to come in and give us concrete proposals. Be ready to invest into this country. We cannot be, you know, bystanders. We are part of this world, but we are also part of bigger world. We cannot you know, continue to you know, drag on or drag behind. PNG is part of 16 member countries that make up the Pacific Island Forum. Australia is also part of the member nations with the forum meet to be held in June next year. The outcome of that meet should signal the stance of all Pacific nations, including Australia and New Zealand. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.